Hey everybody, Craig Harris here. Going to take a quick trip down to the Susquehanna River right here by my house. I'm gonna just fish from the bank and see if we can get a couple fish before the rain comes down. It's supposed to be the next seven days of rain, so this will probably be the only day I can actually fish it this week. But hopefully I can get a couple in. I just leaving work right now, as you can see by my clothes. Basically took everything to work with me and I'm just gonna run right down the river. We just have one rod, one reel today, and we are fishing just a little jig head and some speed shads from Bass Pro, just something generic and cheap. The river, the Susquehanna River is super sticky. Uh, there's tons of trees in it, tons of rocks, tons of hangups. I'm gonna break off a lot of baits, I'm sure of it. So hopefully, if I just use some cheap round ball lead heads, I won't really lose too much that's worth anything. The Kitek, or the Bass Pro Speed Shads are cheaper versions of the Kitek. I also brought some old tubes and some tube heads, just something cheap and generic from Walmart. Uh, just trying to get a couple smallies. They're about to start pulling up this river. There's a little offshoot of the river, so hopefully I can uh, get a few of them in the shallower section. But hopefully we're good to go. Let's see if we can get on some fish. Like I said guys, not doing anything fancy here. Bass Pro Shop, Speed Shad, Round Ball Jig Head. Just cheap, something to do. Probably gonna lose a bunch of these. But here's hoping we get something. Not doing anything special here, just bringing it across the bottom. Bouncing it here and there, hoping something picks it up. Trying to stay on the inside of this current here. But That's number one. Oh, might have got her back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It was stuck on someone else's grub. Must have broke their line. This is exactly what I mean by rough. I caught a towel that caught a stick. So we're making a bait change to just what I think is the most gaudy bait there is. I'm not sure if this is supposed to represent a shiner maybe, but it is bright. But as you can see, this water is green brown so let's give her a shot and see if this works out any better There's a little slack eddy here that's artificially created by this old pillar that used to be standing here. It's since fallen down, so now it's about 
two foot under the water, give or take, and uh, you can see where the current breaks off of it. So usually you pick up one here, but I mean, usually that pillar is two and a half feet out of the water. So at this point, you can tell it's, it's up about four foot just from this morning's rain, but it rained hard for multiple hours. This is what I mean here. This is the stuff that floats down this river. It's just incredible how much volume of water that comes down here during the spring and it rips out full trees and just pushes them to wherever it's gonna stop. Here's another example of just how strong this river is. This tree used to be standing here and you were able to get down to it right where it's at. Now I know the camera flattens everything out, but this is a 15 to 18 foot drop off right here to that tree. This used to be manageable. I used to be able to get down there and it was maybe a six, seven foot drop. So it cut out this bank, threw over that tree. And now as you can see over here, they've got this super helpful buoy marker as if this enormous tree isn't a marker enough. Need this to fall a little faster so I can control it down. Unreal. I thought for sure there'd be one sitting behind that tree. All right, we're gonna change it up. We're throwing a tube now, just a brown green pumpkin tube, a little bit of purple fleck in it. Looks like we're about to lose the fishing time here because it is going to rain. It has gotten dark real quick. I'm hoping if I get a flip into that spot again, maybe they just didn't want the speed shad. They didn't want the speed shad. Come on, buddy, get up here. Ah, oh, there we go. They literally wanted a tube. Now I know this is just a little fish. He's just a baby, but how crazy of a difference maker that was. Got it. Oh my gosh. A sunfish. Really? There's one. Oh. Little guy. Oh, not a bad guy. Look at the color on this though. Look at that fish. Just nice mud from the bottom, but cool little smallie. Bye bud. I think if I'm correct, this is a V&M tube. It doesn't specifically matter. They'll basically take anything brown pretty sure this is a V&M tube with gold fleck. We are going to get rained out any minute here and I'm going to get soaked because I've got a 10 minute walk back to the car which is likely going to turn into a sprint.
I wanted one more fish, which is why I'm still casting, but I just got one more fish and yet I'm still casting. So uh, it's always one more, one more, one more, never enough. say the nick of time I mean the nick of time so didn't get wet but had to run back uh, I think I landed two um, and a sunfish maybe I've turned four or five over I don't know really I landed a rock bass as well that I didn't realize I didn't have the camera on for because that's who I am um, but not a bad day, all in all. Uh, it's six o'clock now. My wife was on her way home, and uh, we're gonna go home and have dinner. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, if you like the video, like it below. Thanks. <laughs>